when I talk to patients about the wellness wheel, uh, I like to point out the fact that you know, even more than just coming in for a medical visit, their own behaviors and environment impact their long-term health uh, more than anything we do just right there in the office visit. Um, all the different pieces that really make you, you, not just those physical pieces that we're looking at in the office. Um, and this can be a really nice tool to use when we're talking about wellness and we're really trying to assess your, your wellness because we can look at it and then we can rate each of the different categories and see where you are, where you need to maybe strengthen certain things or build things up. Or... And so it's really important that we actually talk about all those factors outside of what's happening in that medical visit. What are the different barriers? Um, that, that get in the way of folks being able to take care of themselves. Um, you know, I think that we can all be human uh, and, and realize that there's difficulties there. And so with patients, I, I try to bring up that we control the controllables, and that's mostly around their medical care. Um, it involves their sort of behaviors, uh, sort of health choices, and, and try to support them in, in understanding how to live a, a healthy life. Um, for the factors that we can't control as well, we, we try to do what we can to reduce risk and uh, work with everyone so they feel good about their long-term health care plan. Or, you know, I, I think about like if we have this wheel and we're trying to have all the different aspects of the wheel be equal so that we can roll well, it's about building all those different pieces up. So if I am doing really well with my physical body and I am doing all these lifestyle things like the diet and the exercise and I'm doing those well, but I'm still not well, then I need to be thinking about those other aspects. Maybe I have really a really high stress job and maybe I am not um, meeting my financial commitments that I have and maybe that's stressing me out even further. Well, then I'm not gonna be healthy even though I'm doing all of these other things that are really good for me. And in all honesty, those things are probably keeping you from having more dis-ease or um, more problems, but um, it's important for us to look at the entirety of you as a person and not just one or two aspects.